Hello, I'm Lindsay Hookway. I'm a paediatric nurse, health visitor, international board certified lactation consultant and gentle sleep coach. And I'm going to talk to you about how you can understand how the frequency of breastfeeding um, affects the fat content of your milk. Um, and lots of women are quite confused about um, fat content and how to know that their baby is accessing the really creamy milk. Um, and lots of people are still um, led to believe that um, their baby needs to access the hind milk. And really there is no such thing as fore milk and hind milk. Um, and the truth is that the fat content of your milk gradually increases as the feed progresses. So there is no point at which um, for milk, it changes to hind milk as such. So it's extremely difficult, therefore, to put an exact time on when the fat content is going to increase for you and your baby. So it's a better idea to watch for the changes in your baby's suckling patterns to get an idea about whether your baby has accessed that creamy milk um, instead of trying to time it. So if we look at this um, this graph, what this is showing is that um, on the left hand side of the graph, um, this is the beginning of the feed where we've got high volume and then as we move towards the right of the graph, this is as we progress through the feed and we get less and less volume, which makes sense if you think about it because um, as the baby um, drinks from the breast, they're going to um, increasingly drain the breast. Um, so that there is less milk available at the end of the feed than there is at the beginning of the feed. And what you can see with the little red dots is that um, that is supposed to um, visually represent the amount of fat in the milk according to um, uh, the, the timing of the feed. So at the beginning of the feed, when the volume is high, you can see that the amount of fat is relatively low. Whereas towards the end of the feed, um, there are lots and lots of red dots. So um, the baby is accessing very creamy milk towards the end of the feed. But as you can see from the graph, there is no real point at which um, there is no fat in the milk. So the baby is going to access fat throughout their feed. It's just that they get more fat towards the end of the feed. And for some babies, this entire feed may take... 10 minutes, um, whereas for other babies it might take 35 or 40 minutes. Um, so that's why putting a, a time limit on feeds is a really bad idea because um, if you take your baby off halfway through this feed thinking that that's um, uh, enough time for the baby to have accessed uh, the so-called hind milk, then you actually deny your baby the chance um, to get all of that creamy milk inside them. So that's why it's a good idea to um, understand how to look for your baby's suckling pattern instead. So babies um, are, are definitely going to show you signs um, about where they are in their feed. So at the beginning of the feed, where the volume is high, um, what you're going to hear from your baby if you um, if you don't have too much background noise, you may well hear the baby going um, um, um. So they'll make kind of a, a glug glug noise um, They're going to be swallowing quite frequently so that you're going to see a, a suck swallow suck swallow suck swallow pause suck swallow sort of pattern so you're going to get lots and lots of swallowing at the beginning of the feed. You're going to see your baby's jaw moving up and down um, and you're going to start to see your baby's hands relax and open out as they begin to access um, a volume of milk. And they should stay on the breast and be um, drinking quite actively at the beginning of the feed. And then as you move through the feed, you're going to start seeing some more pausing and you're going to start seeing some slower, deeper suckles. So this sounds a little bit like a sigh. So the baby is going to make a noise that sounds a little bit like So the baby may well go suck, suck, swallow, suck, suck, swallow, pause, suck, suck pause, swallow, and you're going to see that baby um, 
really, really is enjoying their feed at this point, um, and they should start to visibly relax as they're beginning to access more creamy milk. And then towards the end of the feed, your baby is going to have um, a fairly slow, um, uh, sort of quivering, fluttering sort of suckling motion. And this is the point at which lots of people think that their baby is um, kind of messing around or um, not really feeding but um, uh, sort of um, using the breast um, for comfort. And, and this is quite a negative thing to think um, because of course um, feeding for comfort is extremely valid um, as we'll um, find out more about in, in the video Why is my baby feeding so frequently? and also the video on growth spurts. Um, but in any case, when your baby gets towards the end of the feed, um, you may well see that little jaw quivering and fluttering a little bit, and this is when they're going to access that really, really creamy milk at the very, very end of the feed. And this is um, extremely... Um, delicious for your baby so um, your baby's going to enjoy this part of the feed so it's really important not to take them off um, when they're doing that very slow suckling towards the end um, and basically the fuller your breast is the lower the fat content of your milk um, at the beginning of the feed so towards the end of a full feed the fat content will be very high um, and if your baby feeds very frequently and your breasts feel quite well drained then your baby is really getting very high fat milk so lots of people worry that if their baby feeds very frequently for quite short periods that they're never accessing um, the, the creamy fatty milk and actually the complete opposite is true because um, if the baby is feeding very frequently then the breast has less time to sort of refill as it were um, and so that baby is going to be accessing really really creamy milk um, nearly all the time and in cultures where babies are allowed to feed whenever they want they feed extremely frequently um, and breasts never really feel that full um, and we know therefore that those babies are getting smaller volumes um, but the fat content is much higher and therefore um, the baby overall gets the same number of calories they just don't perhaps get the same volume so we know that the lower the volume the higher the fat content of the milk um, and it's really common um, for these sorts of compositions to vary throughout the day. Um, so it's very, very common for um, mothers to experience a much fuller breast in the morning, um, and that milk is going to be generally lower in fat when the breast is full. Of course, when the baby gets towards the end of the feed, they're going to access creamy milk, um, but uh, the, the, the overall fat content is going to be um, lower with a, a full breast. And the emptier the breast is, the higher the, the fat content of the milk. Um, and lots of people um, still think that um, their milk volumes are lower towards the end of the day, perhaps because they're getting very tired or uh, they're running out of milk. Um, and this is really not true. It's just the natural variation in milk composition um, throughout the day. And it's common to women all over the world. Um, it's really nothing to worry about at all and what most women find is that their baby wants to feed very frequently um, in the evening um, when their breasts feel quite um, well drained and soft um, and this can be quite um, uh, quite difficult for, for women to cope with um, but if you can understand that um, usually the trade-off is that your baby will then sleep for a longer period because they've sort of tanked up on that really really high fat milk um, so you can usually expect a little bit of a break after a period of cluster feeding but um, it's really nothing to worry about and like all phases this one will pass as well. So um, the message really is allow your baby to feed until they fall off all by themselves um, and they will kind of spit the breast out because the, the milk is too creamy um, so allow your baby to feed until they do that. And then also learn to understand um, what your baby's suckling pattern looks like so that you know what's normal. Um, and always finish the first breast first so that you can be sure that your baby has accessed all the creamy milk they need. 
Um, and equally important, um, your baby may only ever want one breast per feed, um, or your baby may be um, the sort of child who always wants both breasts at every feed. And sometimes your baby um, may want the second breast and sometimes they don't. So it's not always um, clear cut and um, babies are allowed to change their minds. Um, babies' appetites fluctuate just like ours do. So um, sometimes babies have an extra hungry day and sometimes they don't seem that fussed by feeding. Um, it's very common for babies' appetites to fluctuate a little bit and your breasts will um, correspondingly feel either a little bit more full than usual or a little bit more empty than usual. Um, but this is all completely normal, um, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, and it's also really important to know that sometimes your baby is just thirsty, so especially on a hot day your baby may ask to breastfeed more often um, and it you don't need to worry if your baby doesn't always show you those signs that they're getting to the creamy milk because they're not always um, on the breast for a full feed. Sometimes they just want to quench their thirst. Um, so I hope that helps you to understand a little bit more about how um, the fat content is related um, to the frequency of feeding and the fullness of your breasts. Thanks for watching.